Hey, this is Veronica Wasek with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. Today I am talking about the biggest mistakes that small business owners make with their QuickBooks Online bank feeds. So have you recently bought QuickBooks Online or maybe you've been using it for a while to um, get all of the bookkeeping done for your small business? And I'm sure by now you have figured out that there is a banking center where you can connect QuickBooks Online to your bank and credit card accounts. Uh, we call that the bank fiends. And I'm sure that you found it very helpful, but I did want you to know that there are uh, quite a few mistakes that small business owners make with their bank feeds. So let's go over what they are so you can learn to avoid the biggest mistakes. First of all, uh, the number one mistake that small business owners make with bank feeds is um, thinking that that is the only way in which you do your bookkeeping in QuickBooks. Perhaps you've used a tool like Quicken or some other uh, personal finance tools in which you've connected those, those tools to your personal bank accounts. And those tools pretty much work, um, they work off of the, the uh, downloaded banking transactions. QuickBooks Online has a similar functionality, but QuickBooks Online is a small business accounting software and it has lots more functionality and ways of doing things. So while the bank feeds are very helpful, um, you just need to understand that that's just one of the ways in which you can do your bookkeeping. Um, there are many other ways and we share a lot of QuickBooks online tutorials on my blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com so you can uh, learn the full functionality of QuickBooks online. The second mistake that small business owners make with their bank feeds in QuickBooks online is that when you're going through all of the transactions that are downloaded from QuickBooks, you just click add on every transaction. Unfortunately, those transactions are not yet categorized into QuickBooks. Um, they need to be categorized first before you click Add. Um, so what happens is you're clicking Add on every transaction and then when you look at your reports, you end up with a bunch of transactions in uncategorized income and uncategorized expense. And then you're having to go through every transaction and recategorize it. So what you need to do is actually look at the transactions it, that are downloaded from the bank and look at the account category and make sure that you look at that transaction, see what it was for. So if it was say, for example, for a hotel expense, then you might need to categorize it to travel. Or if it was an office supply type of expense, you would put it to office supplies or to office expense. You never want to categorize anything to uncategorized expense or uncategorized income. The third mistake that small business owners make with their QuickBooks online bank feeds is that they let them accumulate for months at a time instead of working on them every day. So here at the five minute bookkeeping blog, we're big on encouraging business owners to work on their bookkeeping just five minutes a day. And you can do that very easily uh, working with your bank feeds in just five minutes. Um, you, because you probably don't have that, ma that much activity on a daily basis. So if you can work on the bank feeds five minutes a day, Rather than waiting a week or months before getting to it, you'll be a whole lot more productive. It won't be such a big pain to work on all of those transactions. And then you'll get some small wins. And who knows, you might do five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes a day, rather than waiting weeks, months, and even a year to work on your bookkeeping. I hope you found this content helpful. I'm Veronica Wasek with the 5 minutebookkeepingcom blog. If this video was helpful to you, make sure that you click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel, and visit my blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com.